IBM Tivoli Storage Manager for Virtual Environments version 6.3. What we see here is vSphere Client. vSphere Client is a VMware product which manages large vSphere environments. In here we can see ESX servers and we can also see individual virtual machines that are running on these individual ESX servers. So in our case here we have vSphere 03 which is our ESX server and we have all the VMs underneath. So we have development virtual machines, production virtual machines and quality assurance virtual machines. If we navigate to the home screen we can actually see that there's a plugin registered here in this vSphere client. And that plugin is Table Data Protection for VMware. If I start the plugin, Table Data Protection for VMware comes up. In here, we have the same view that we also have in the other views in vSphere Client. So essentially, this means that the plugin can run from anywhere in your environment. So it can basically log in and our plugin is integrated into vSphere Client. From here we have a, a number of tabs. We have a summary tab, a backup tab, restore tab, reports tab, and a configuration tab. Under the configuration we have basically configured our Tivoli Storage Manager server. Well, let's go and perform a backup. We have two views on the left side so we can sort by virtual machine or we can also sort by data store. This would be the virtual machine view or the hosts view and this would be the data stores view. This plugin acts as a graphical user interface for TSM for virtual environments. Okay, let's define a new backup. You can see there are a couple of backups that were performed before. So we can see all the schedules right here in this summary page. Schedule a backup. A configuration wizard comes up and we can define our schedule. We call this weekly production as a schedule name. We can also enter a description. And now we can select the virtual machines which we want to protect. So we select the ESX server and then on the right side you can see all the virtual machines. So we can select one, all, or just as many as we uh, wish. I select one now, production VM app one. And here we can specify the actual agent, or now we call this a data mover, which performs the backup task. So in my case, I only have one agent, but you could have multiple agents here, multiple data movers, which represent processes running on different servers. So you can spread the backup load over multiple servers or also within one server and this way we can en enhance the backup and restore performance. As you can see here we can specify a schedule for later. Schedule for later means that the backup should not uh, run now. It means that we want to use a schedule. Let's go in here and, and see what the schedule looks like. So we can specify a date and time and we can also specify recurring backups. So we can basically set up a schedule here. That means that now with this new plugin, TSM for Virtual Environments does have a built-in scheduler. For now, I want to run the backup now and I can choose whether I want to do a full backup or an incremental backup. Incremental backup would mean that we leverage change block tracking which is offered as a VMware feature. We get a summary. ESX server in here, virtual machine. And by clicking finish, my backup will start. 
now I have the option to go to a monitor and I want to do that so by clicking OK we can see a monitor here and this monitor shows the active tasks so you can actually see the backup pro progress as it progresses here date and timestamp and uh, note that on the bottom of the screen uh, you can see the tasks that are going on inside vSphere so in this case vSphere creates a virtual machine in order to guarantee consistency for the VM itself let's refresh this and we can see the weekly production schedule progressing this is actually happening in real time here we can see down here that the snapshot is being removed so now we have a consistent virtual machine that we can back up no data to display basically means that the task has finished and we can now switch to the events view and in here we can see all the backups and we can see whether they were successful or not so in my case there was a the weekly production one was successful I can double click on the success message here and it will tell me what happened and um, also provide a timestamp we can also look at one of those that failed and then basically helps us to identify why a backup uh, might have failed so in this case we get the TSM error message which means that there was a connection failure uh, when connecting to the TSM server nevertheless our backup was successful by performing a right mouse click here we can actually rerun the schedule and we can also change the properties of this particular schedule now let's um, go to the restore tab going to the restore tab provides a similar view and from here I can select all my restores so it knows what is eligible for restore so my my production virtual machine here is one of the ones that is um, eligible for restore and I can select that and it will actually give me the different restore points so if we would have done incremental backups we would see multiple restore points we can select the one that we want to have and then we can go straight to the restore tab from here we get a sim similar wizard that we had um, on the backup so we see the source so that's basically the backup and from here we have uh, multiple restore options so we can simply restore to the original location that means that we would overwrite the existing VM or if the VM was corrupted or has been deleted it would just it would just bring it back to the original location or we can choose an alternate location um, this is what I want to do here and I want to call this a prot restore so that's a production restore November and I can uh, choose here um, the data center so we can restore to a different data center I can select the ESX host and I can also select the data store which I want to use so I can basically send or restore that virtual machine to a different data store I select uh, DS uh, student 1 and here again I can choose the data mover if I have would have multiple data movers I could select the one that I would want to use so now we get a summary 
uh, we can also see the TSM data mover node name that's being used here. And again, we can go to the monitor. And the monitor shows us how the restore request progresses. So the restore is called 242. Same date. And we can see down here that, again, a virtual machine is being created. Refresh. And then finally, we can go to the events view. And in here, we can see that the restore 242 was successful. If we now navigate back into vSphere Client into a different view, we will be able to find our restore. So here it is. And this virtual machine is just like any other virtual machine. TSM for virtual environments also offers protection on an individual file basis. So from this full VM level backup, I can restore individual files. We can go to the Start menu and start our data protection for VMware Recovery Agent. And from here, we can select a table storage manager server. So we don't have one, so we can define a new one. This is our TSM server. And we're accessing the data that we've just backed up under a specific uh, node name. Have to define the right password. So it's password protect protected. And now we can select a virtual machine. So all the virtual machines that have been backed up are available here. So I will select um, this virtual machine. We can also select the snapshot date. And we can select the volume that we would like to restore. In this case, I'm just picking a hard disk 2. We can either restore it uh, instantly restore it or mount it. Mounting is what I want to do now. So we can mount it as an iSCSI target. In my case, I will choose to create a virtual volume from the selected partition. So I select uh, partition 0 and I can uh, assign a drive letter here. So let's just use K, drive letter K, and click OK. It's mounted now, and we can actually go to Windows Explorer, and we have a K drive here, and you can see the name, it's a uh, local disk, so that was the name that it had in the virtual machine that we originally backed up. And we can see all the files in here, and we can work with them as if they would be here. So we can copy and paste them from here over there or do whatever we want to do. This was basically a restore of an individual file. Thank you very much for your attention.